Hello everyone, welcome back to our channel GSIPUC Mysuru. This is the 10th session of the 4th chapter Passive Electronic Components. In the last session we discussed about the combinations of capacitors that is what will be the effective value of capacitance when the capacitors are connected in series and when they are connected in parallel. In today's session we will be dealing with the problems on these combinations of capacitors. So let's begin with the very first problem. So the problem is 3 capacitors 2 nanofarad, 4 nanofarad and 6 nanofarad. In the very first problem, they have given 4 uh, capacitors whose values are 2 nanofarad, 4 nanofarad and 6 nanofarad are connected such that first two are in series and the third is in parallel to them. Here they have given 3 capacitors whose values are 2, 4 and 6 nanofarad. And they are telling that the first two are connected in series. So the first two, let me write two capacitors which are connected in series. And the value of these capacitors are 2 nanofarad and 4 nanofarad. So out of these three, these are the first two. So they are telling that the first two are connected in series. And the third is in parallel to them. They have given the third which is connected in parallel to this series combination and the third capacitor capacitance value is 6 nanofarad. Find the effective capacitance of the entire combination. You have to find out the C effective of this particular diagram. The effective capacitance of this particular diagram. Here 2 nanofarad and 4 nanofarad are connected in series and this series combination is connected in parallel with the 6 nanofarad. We are having this formula for series combination when only two capacitors are considered, I mean when only two capacitors are connected in series, Cs which is nothing but the effective capacitance of a capacitor when they are connected in series is equal to C1, C2 divided by C1 plus C2. Or if there are n number of resistors, sorry capacitors, then the formula will be like this, 1 by C1 plus 1 by C2, so on up to 1 by Cn. Similarly, for parallel combination, which will be denoted by Cp is just equal to the sum of all the capacitances C1 plus C2 plus C3 so on up to Cn. So you have to find out the total capacitance or the effective capacitance of this capacitor I mean of this circuit where 2 and 4 are connected in series and those two uh, uh, capacitors are connected in parallel with 6 nanofarad. So, two capacitors are connected in series let me denote that by Cs that is this I am calculating I'm, and I am marking it as Cs. Cs is equal to, I am using the direct formula, 2 into 4 divided by 2 plus 4 into 10 to the power of minus 9. Here 2 nano and 4 nano that I am writing here separately. This and this gets cancelled. So Cs is equal to 4 2s are 8 into 10 to the power of minus 9 divided by 4 plus 2 is equal to 6. So 8 divided by uh, 6 will give us 1.33 nanofarad. So in place of these two capacitors, I can use a single capacitor whose capacitance value is 1.33 nanofarad and the diagram will become like this. So this is CS whose value is equal to 1.33 and this is the capacitor who is having, uh, which is having a capacitance value of 6 nanofarad. Now these two are connected in parallel. So for the parallel combination, this is the effective C effective, that is the entire capacitance value of these two capacitors. C effective is equal to, when they are connected in parallel, you have to just uh, uh, add those capacitance value, 1.33 plus 6, which is equal to into 10 to the power of minus 9. This is nanofarad. Uh, so it is 7.33 into 10 to the power of minus 9 farad or C effective is equal to 7.33 nano farad. So this is the uh, effective capacitance value of a given capacitor that is they have given three capacitor which are connected in this manner clear. Now let us move on to the second problem. The second problem is two capacitors of 60 microfarad each are connected in parallel. So in the second problem they have given two capacitors whose values are equal to 60 microfarad. Each is having a value of 60 microfarad and they are connected in parallel. So let me write 
two capacitors which are connected in parallel and whose capacitance values is 60 microfarad. So these are the two capacitors which are connected in parallel. The combination is further connected in series with two capacitors of 30 microfarad and 75 microfarad. So this is one combination. To this combination there are two more resist capacitors which are connected in series whose values are 30 microfarad and uh, 75 microfarad. Calculate the total capacity of the circuit. So you have to calculate the total capacitance which is nothing but C effective you have to find out for this particular circuit. So you have to read the question properly and analyze whichever capacitors are connected in series and which are connected in parallel. So you have to find out let us call these two terminals as A and B. So you have to find out the total capacitance between the two ends A and B. So here we are having two capacitors which are connected in parallel. So when the capacitors are connected in parallel, we can use the direct formula Cp is equal to C1 plus C2. So uh, let us first find out the capacitance of this combination. Cp is equal to 60 microfarad plus 60 microfarad which gives me 120 microfarad. So in place of these two capacitors, I can write a single capacitor whose value is equal to 120 microfarad and the capacitance of these two capacitors are 30 and 75 microfarad. The terminals are A and B. So here you have to find out the equivalent or the effective capacitance value between A and B. So when they are connected in series, here I am having three capacitors. So let me go with this formula 1 by Cs is equal to 1 by C1 plus 1 by C2 plus 1 by C3, 1 by C1 plus 1 by C2 plus 1 by C3, C1 value is 120, 120 into 10 to the power of minus 6 plus 1 by C2 value is 30 into 10 to the power of minus 6 plus C3 is 75 into 10 to the power of minus 6. So let me calculate this, 1 divided by 120 is equal to 0. 0, 0, 0.08 into 10 to the power of uh, minus 6 in the is in the denominator when it goes to the numerator its value is equal to 10 to the power of plus 6 but what shall I do is uh, let us just calculate these values and keep this 10 to the power of minus 6 in the denominator itself uh, 0 0.0083 plus 1 divided by 30 is equal to 0 0.033 plus 1 divided by 75 equals 0 0.0133 into 1 divided by 10 to the power of minus 6 because 10 to the power of minus 6 is common in all of these three terms. So I am taking that out of the bracket. So let me add all these things. So I will be getting uh, 0 0.0546 into 10 to the power of minus 6 is in the denominator. When it goes to the numerator, it is equal to 10 to the power of plus 6. So uh, this is 1 divided by Cs but we want Cs so we have to take the reciprocal of that Cs is equal to 1 divided by 0 0.0546 into 10 to the power of 6 so 1 divided by 0 0.0546 will be equal to 18.31 into 10 to the power of plus 6 is in the denominator when it goes to the numerator its value is equal to 10 to the power of minus 6 and the unit for capacitance is farad this cs which is equal to c effective is 18.31 microfarad so this is the final answer that is the final capacitance value of this particular diagram Clear? Now we will move on to the third problem of this session. The next problem is two capacitors of capacitance 20 microfarad and 30 microfarad. So third problem, two capacitors of capacitance 20 microfarad and 30 microfarad are connected in series. So let me draw the diagram directly 20 microfarad. So this value is equal to 20 microfarad and this is equal to 30 microfarad are connected in series across 200 volts DC supply. So this is a DC source which is plus and minus and that value is equal to 200 volts. Find the equivalent capacitance. We have to find out C equivalent. The charge on each capacitor, charge on each capacitor is Q that is Q1 
uh, equals how much q2 equals how much and potential difference across each capacitor uh, this will be considered as total potential which is applied uh, across these two uh, combinations of capacitors we have to find out the voltage drop across each capacitor that is v1 is how much v2 is how much so let me call this as c1 and this as c2 the voltage across this capacitor will be named as v1 the voltage across c2 will be named as v2 charge in uh, c1 is q1 charge in c2 is q2 so let us first find out the c equivalent the equivalent value of the capacitor here the two capacitors are connected in series so c equivalent is equal to c1 c2 divided by c1 plus c2 that is 20 into 30 into 10 to the power of minus 6 into 10 to the power of minus 6 whole divided by 20 plus 30 into 10 to the power of minus 6 so this gets cancelled so i will be left with 600 divided by 50 into 10 to the power of minus 6 so zeros and zeros gets cancelled i will be left with 12 microfarad so c equivalent for uh, this particular diagram is 12 microfarad and here the capacitors are connected in series since, since they are connected in series the same current flows through both the capacitors since both uh, since the same current is flowing through both the capacitors the charge on each capacitors will be same so uh, q will be equal to q1 will be equal to q2 so uh, we have to find out q1 and q2 on theta it is one and the same so you can easily find out that we are having this formula c is q is equal to c into v where q is nothing but the total capacitance c is the uh, sorry q is nothing but the total charge c is the total capacitance and v is the total uh, potential so i don't know q i have to find out that q and c equivalent is 12 into 10 to the power of minus 6 v is equal to 200 so q will be equal to 2400 micro coulombs q is equal to 2400 micro coulombs which is same as q1 and q2 now we have to find out the voltage across each capacitors so we are having this formula q is equal to c into v uh, we can write it as q1 is equal to c1 into v1 q2 is equal to c2 into v2 since q q1 q all are same uh, i can uh, directly substitute the value as uh, 2400 microfarad v1 is equal to q1 divided by c1 that is 2400 into 10 to the power of minus 6 whole divided by first capacitance value is 20 into 10 to the power of minus 6 this and this gets cancelled one's a uh, 120 so v1 is equal to 120 volts uh, the unit for voltage is volts so v1 the voltage across the capacitance capacitor c1 is uh, 120 volts similarly v2 is equal to q2 divided by c2 q2 is also 2400 into 10 to the power of minus 6 and c2 is equal to 30 30 into 10 to the power of minus 6 so this and this can cancel ones are 80s are so v2 is equal to 80 volts so after uh, calculating v1 and v2 you have to uh, find out or you can just uh, check your answers v1 plus v2 must be equal to v v1 is 120 v2 is 80 when you are going to add those two you will be getting 200 which is a correct answer so this is the final answer of this problem let me conclude this session at this point so in this session we solve some of the problems on combinations of capacitors in my next session also we will be solving few more problems on the combinations of capacitors thank you